Are our taste buds on brand? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We wrote a novel. <laughs> it's funny, it's scary, it's a labor of love, and it's called The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek. Pre-order it now at Bleak Creek. Dot com. Yes. We are expanding our brand to include novelists. Right, and speaking of brands, a 2010 Consumer report study found that store brands scored almost as well as name brands in blind taste tests. Hmm. So the question is, do we really know the taste of our own favorite brands or are we letting the labels get into our head? We're gonna put that question to the test with some of our favorite beverage brands. It's time for Knock Off Knockout Liquid Edition. In each round, we're gonna have four clear cups in front of us, and one of those cups will have a big name brand that we all know, and the other three will have some variety of store brand or less known brand versions of that beverage. And our mission is to taste them all, then knock out the knockoffs and pick the name brand, mm -hmm. and in the end, the loser has to drink a bottle of Josh's original brand cola, which we have no idea what's in that. Round one. Of these four different colas, we have to find the Coca-Cola or the Coke, if you want to be brief about it. Oh, this is, they all look the same. Yep, I'm gonna start do. over here. I'll start down here. I'm gonna start, well, you wanna pick a side what we're gonna drink out of? I'm gonna drink out of the, the edge. Okay, so this one right here, mm -hmm. that's, tastes like a cola. Yeah, it just tastes very cola-y. <clears throat> this one and this one are very different. Are, did These those, are very different. Those felt very different. I'm going on the outside of what you just drank, right? I can kind of see. Right I, just, I was just going right for the for the yeah. front. Hmm. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, this one. Uh oh. That one and this one. Oh, this yeah. is gonna be tough. But this one down here, I. I mean, it's, it's not yet. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna drink it just because. Huh. It's. I mean, hmm. I'm knocking that one out. I don't even. Hold on, don't. This is a competition. Man. I know. Don't tell me I, what you're doing. I know you know that's not Coke, it right? Might, it might be Coke. <laughs> but I don't know. This one's got bite. Oh, wow. That one's got the same amount of bite, but a little less flavor. And this one? Hmm. This one? This one is um, a little underwhelming. Okay, I, I feel pretty confident. I think we both know that it's one of these two right here because yeah. we had a lot of Coke growing up. I don't know what that is, but I think that's Pepsi. Um. <clears throat> I also had a lot of Pepsi growing up. Ah. Pride of the Carolinas. I'm ready to vote, Stevie. All right, three, two, one. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, <I'll laughs> don't put it in there. So we don't agree. Mm, why did you go with that one? Because there was literally something nostalgic that hit me, and that might mean that it's something else that I've had, but it just I went with the nostalgia, but they were so close, it was very difficult to figure out. Do we find out right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell you. So so keep in mind that this game isn't a uh, name brand versus name brand, so your right. guess that one was Pepsi oh. doesn't make sense for the game. Right, there's no Pepsi. Yeah. But the Coke is in cup number one. Mm. So Whoa, you were no, no, both no. incorrect. No, 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 I'm no. I'm gonna tell you what all of, all of them oh, are. Come on. So that number one cup is Coke. The next cup is Sam's Cola from Sam's and Walmart. The next one is Juggalo favorite Fago Cola. <laughs> you you a Juggalo man? <laughs> and then the last one is Shasta. This is the best one. I thought this was the best. Sam's Cola. Man, whoop, whoop. I must have had a lot of Sam's Cola as a child because it hit my nostalgia bone. Round two. All right, we got four energy drinks. One of them is Red Bull. Now, okay. I, I, have you ever just poured Red Bull out and just looked at the color? I thought it was blue or something. <laughs> <laughs> the can's blue. Uh, <laughs> right, for a reason. Uh, well, okay. All right, I'm gonna drink this urine first. You're reaching across, huh? okay. Ooh, that is tart. Hmm. If you just gave me that, I'd think it was Red Bull. Ooh, that is a lot sweeter, but like with a fake sweetener. Oh. This one's better than that one. It's more urine colored, just like this one. Hmm. Wow. This tastes like mellow yellow a little bit. One and three, very similar. 
Yeah, that tastes like uh, almost yeah citrusy, like a like a sprite or something, like a soft drink. So yeah, one in three are giving me a. <sighs> wow, this is so interesting. These so, taste exactly the same. You think we're being punked? This is a crapshoot for me. This is a crapshoot. Uh, nope. I've, these I both I taste like sweet tarts. That's the, that's yeah. the definitive flavor profile of Red Bull, but one of them tastes more like sweet tarts. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Well, bam. <laughs> Whoa, really? Okay. Wow. I, I mean, I was just, I was literally just guessing because they were identical. This in my one tastes mind. So, like stronger, so I'm it just is darker. Assuming you're, you're scaring me with dehydrated. your stabbiness of you know getting too stabby things. for you. Yeah, you're getting real stabby. All right, the Red Bull is in cup number three. Whoa! Oh, yeah. And the other cups contain Red Thunder, Guru, and Balls. Balls? Balls don't taste balls like Red Z. Bull. Round three. Of all of these grapefruit flavored fizzy waters, which one is the Pomplamoose LaCroix? Or La Croix? Hmm. I drink a lot of this one. Hmm. Yeah, I do too. Straight out the can. We have a dis like a, almost like a dispenser in the top of our refrigerator. That's constantly just rolling out Pomplamoose LaCroix. You smell that and it kind of stinks, but then you'll realize grapefruit stinks. But it's a good stink. It's a good stink. Yeah. It's like it's like drinking some tof togu. Mm. One is the most aromatic. Thus far, none of them tastes like what I would have thought grapefruit LaCroix tastes like. Because mm. I typically don't drink it in a glass. I know, and you typically don't think about it when you're drinking it. You just drink it. Yeah, if you start thinking about what it tastes like when you drink it, you probably stop drinking LaCroix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't overthink it. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, this I'm, is tough. I've really confused myself. Would you, do you think there's one that has the most flavor? I think there's clearly one with, with a higher flavor. This one profile. has the most odd, unusual flavor, and I don't feel like it's representative of what my thoughts are. This one's very strong. One is by, by far the strongest. Okay, I've got a guess. The question is, is LaCroix the strongest, though? I've got okay. a guess. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, we uh, agree. Uh, okay. It's, it's kind of a blind guess on my part, though. These just, two tasted the most similar to, what, to the image I had. The LaCroix is in cup number three. Oh, dang it, I and almost the went there. Other cups contain Simply Balanced, which is Target's brand, yeah. Waterloo, and Soleil, which oh. is the Safeway brand. Soleil. Soleil's got a good match. Yeah. Round four. All right, we got four sweet, tasty orange juices, but one of them is Tropicana. I don't know if you can tell um, through your screen, but number four is the lightest, and these are like a darker, pretty uniform orange. orange. All pulpless, I hope. Would you know what Tropicana tasted like? Like, did you do Tropicana growing up? Like, I think I was more of a Minute Maid man. Ooh, this is smoother and has a lighter flavor. That has a deeper. Oh, those are very different. Yeah, this has a deeper tartar. The tartar, yes. It's gonna give you tartar. Mm. This one's. I like that one. This though. one's very drinkable. Drinkable. That's a. <laughs> like it goes down. Put, put that. On, put that on your. Make that your slogan. Drinkable. Since uh. 1928. Oh my gosh! You're gonna love that. So you loved it, huh? It's not even orange juice. You know what this tastes like? What? This tastes like the time that we went to the orange tree in our house in our old yard. Yeah and uh, squished down, <laughs> made orange juice out of the oranges in our yard. Squ and it, How do I explain this? I took an orange, <laughs> I do, squished it do down. Do I need to go through the whole process? And a liquid came out, and lo and behold, I had made orange and juice. And it tasted just like that. It tasted like, like crap. Super tart, like these oranges aren't made for orange juice. You didn't squish it right. Um, we, get, we gave it to everyone who came over, though. <laughs> Straight from the orange tree in our yard. How do I say this? I I squished the orange. I, mean, uh, I wanted to figure out how descriptive I needed to be. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, three, two, one. Uh, no. Th these are the best ones. I'm just I'm yep. voting for Tropicana to taste good. I guess. The Tropicana is in cup number one. Woo! 
you're playing the producer game. You were like, oh, we, they went to one once. We, no, no, what? Oh, what? No, it tasted the most like typical tropics? orange juice, man. It tastes like the tropics. Yeah, it tasted like a weird hotel in Vegas. Here's what the other cups contain. 365 from Whole Foods, mm-hmm. Kirkland brand, and Kroger brand. Kroger, Kroger is a loser on the OJ circuit. <laughs> Kroger's been using that tree in my old yard. What they do is they take the oranges and then they... They squish, you, I don't squish know how to say it exactly, they, but they make they make it. orange juice with them. Squish it. Round five of these four American loggers, we have to pick out the Budweiser. The Budweiser, and now you're playing just to not have zero points at this point. Yeah, I just, just for pride of of not getting shut out. You well, first of all, one? There, this one has a noticeable head on it. That one has that one has no head. Nope. And th- this one is the lightest. Again, if I'm gonna drink a Budweiser, if I'm, you look through the, the glass or you don't look through the can, you don't really, I don't really pour a Budweiser in a in pint glass. Yeah, you do that with Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Only Miller. Dink it, let's dink it and oh, sink it all once. Of a sudden. This is not a bad beer, it is not Budweiser. <laughs> That, th- I would call that a bad beer, and I don't know if it's because I just drank a bunch of orange juice. You know, I do not recommend drinking orange juice, drinking beer, and then brushing your teeth. That's coarse. <laughs> this is bitter, this is. That's not bad, I like that. It's like. That's coarse. It's surpri- I would call that surprisingly hoppy. I would call this urine. That's Budweiser. I just don't, I don't drink these beers. I drink like a crap. I don't beer, either. You know? I'm just going off of. The, 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 All right. To me, this is the worst beer of the four. <laughs> that reminds me of when, for some reason, we decided to get uh, a 24 pack of Coors when we were on the Alka Seltzer Great American Road Trip <laughs> and put it in that RV, and I had one. Yeah. And I was like, why did we make this mistake? That's what it tastes like. And then I'm like, more for me. I'm in the back <laughs> of an RV. <laughs> All right, mm. I, ready? I, I I feel pretty good about this. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh god, you feel pretty good about this? Yeah. Three, two, one. That one's horrible. I I, I actually don't think it's that one. I could, you might be right. It's either one. Of, it's one of those two. I think. The Budweiser is in cup number two. Oh, that's the worst. What? That. I actually ones. feel less American right now. Simpler Times. Simpler Times? Which is the Trader Joe's brand. Hams. Hams? Hams what is d- number three. What and is Hams? Schlitz. Schlitz? Schlitz! <laughs> I thought Schlitz was a malt liquor. It is. This is Budweiser? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going back for more. What is well, Hams? Just reminding myself why I don't drink it. It's like an offshoot of PVR. That's it's an like offshoot of PVR, yeah. Alex says. PVR owns it. Okay. It's the best beer in the world. Congratulations to me, uh, Link. You, you lost, which means you have to drink Josh's special cola. Oh, it gosh. has a picture of him on it <laughs> from times gone by. We'll find out what's in it in Good Mythical More. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. My name's Philip. My name's Christian. We're from Arkansas. And we just bought the Book of Mythicality. For, for each, each other. other. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the Wheel, wheel of Mythicality. Hot yes. twist for each other. That's what friendship's <laughs> all about. Love it, guys. Click the top link to watch us sample the wild world of Fago flavors in Good Mythical More. And I gotta drink this. Find out where the wheel lands. Heading outside? Cover your melon with these hats we're selling. Three different styles to choose from now at mythical.store.